Hello my lovelies, no, you won't see my beautiful beard this week, you will only hear my voice. A little video on my color grading process, what you are seeing right now is the correction, dodge and burn and frequency separation phase. In this video we will only concentrate on colors. So this is the image we are going to work with, a photo made in 2018 inside a hotel room with EV Ball. I never shared this image before and never retouched it, as it didn't make the final selection. So here I am kind of rediscovering it. Once my image is ready for colors, I use a color balance adjustment layer and a selective color adjustment layer to push my image where I want it to be. With these white walls and blue wallpaper here, the goal for me was to make a contrast between the room and background and the model. To do that, I decided early on that I wanted to have a cool background and a little more warmth in the skin and the fabric. Once I have a base image, I add a gradient map adjustment layer. This tool will be used mainly for skin, body and fabric. Gradient maps are the easiest way to color grade an image, but be careful, you are also modifying the contrast, the brightness of your images, so be careful with those sliders. Once I'm done, I add a hue adjustment layer. I will go back on this one a few times as I will modify the yellows and the blues with this adjustment layer. I then add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer so I can fine tune and adjust the contrast added by the use of the gradient map earlier. Once I'm done, I add a curves adjustment layer to readjust my exposure. If you create an S shape with your curve, be careful. You are also adding saturation to your image and increasing the contrast. Then I group my layers and go back and play with the opacity of some of the layers. Something I've been doing lately is using gradient fills to balance the exposure of my image and at the same time inject a bit of color in specific areas. I also use gradient fills to guide the viewer's eyes. I didn't want this to affect the entire image. I wanted to have these colors come from the light of the ceiling that you cannot see. So I used a gradient. Now remember what I said in the beginning, I want a cooler background. So to do so, I'm going to group one of my gradient fill and the gradient map in a group folder. Now here is the fun part. I'm going to mask out the model and the fabric to have more control on the background and model, of course, and to be able to modify their colors separately. There are tons of ways of doing this in Photoshop. I used the magic wand and refine my mask manually, but I also used the refine tool. Now we have a beautiful cutout of our model and we can apply this mask to the group that contains the gradient fill and gradient map. 
So now most of our warm colors are visible on our model and fabric and not the background or less on the background. I used the same mask again, but inverted to do a bit more work on the background with a copy of the gradient fill and a curves adjustment layer and a gradient to add a bit of direction to the effect. Then I went back on previous layers and did a few minor corrections. So now let's go back and see what we have done to our image. Frequency separation before and after. An additional shadow here and highlight corrections. And of course, dodging and burning. In fact, I didn't do any burning here. Back in the colors, each layer one by one. Something I often do, I take a little brick away from my screen and if I have minor corrections to make, I do them in Lightroom. That's it folks, leave me all your questions in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Take care and until the next one, please have a good one.